tell me a little bit about where you, kind of where you were, what were your up and downs, and kind of where you are now. I stopped going to FCA mainly because it was all the kids who were one way in a church and then lived a different life outside of school. That was FCA. Um, but more importantly, what were they doing? How were they treating you? They were pretty much telling me to sit in the back and to mind my own business. Um, they weren't nice to me. They didn't like me. They were very open about how they didn't like me unless a teacher walked by and was like, oh, Cindy, you look cute today. Oh, so thanks. with uh, FCA, <laughs> um, this Fellowship of Christian Athletes, um, so it would be a group that's supposed to be of the Christian community of kids to get together to kind of bond. Hey, look, we're all are similar in our faith and kind of a and it's about 200 kids. It's about 300 now. Okay. So this uh, is a place you don't feel comfortable. No, not at all because of how you're treated I, yeah. by those who are Christian. Mm -mm. All right, so back up to um, your own journey with autism and all this stuff and the school and the teachers and what's kind of your journey of faith like? I can't really speak for anything of elementary school because I think my brain has repressed most of that. So elementary school wise and even early middle school wise, I don't really remember much. Um, I do remember seventh grade was probably the first thing I remember. We had um, a missionette's club and I, I felt comfortable there. I w it was a small group and they were people who actually you know were dedicated and showed up and they said what they meant so I liked it. Um, middle school was probably it was a good year faith wise. I was just like okay these people, I do, there are people I can count on. God has provided me with people I can count on. This is good. This works. High school comes around. <laughs> Our youth pastor leaves. Um, and I'm like, okay, well, no youth pastor. That'll be okay. I can. We have our children's pastor who's going to come help with that. All right, that works. Um, then we finally get a new youth pastor after about three or four years. <laughs> they stay for not even a year. And I'm like, oh, okay, what did I do wrong? Why did you leave? And then we found out it was some other issues. I'm like, you purposely came here and tried to form relations with students when you knew eventually you were going to leave within a short amount of time. So one of the Why would you that, do that? <laughs> so the bottom line was um, you felt like, because I had gone to the person and said, don't take how they're treating you personally. <laughs> um, Sydney has a hard time trusting people. Just don't force things. Just let things happen naturally and try not to take it personally. And you they felt like tried to force. He did forge um, a relationship with you and by the time you felt like you could reciprocate he was leaving. Yes. So that has caused some mistrust in leadership. Yes. All right. So there's been some issues with how fellow Christians have treated you for being different either mm -hmm. because of your autism Asperger's or because you have stronger faith or have stood up for your faith and you've had the most ridicule from, from Christians for you standing up for your faith. Yep and then some a little bit of leadership issues because from ninth to 12th grade there's been a constant overturn in the youth ministry and then finally feeling like you trusted someone and that and hurt. they left <laughs> and you, that felt like abandonment yes all right so all of that aside where are you today with your faith i definitely believe i just don't know to what extent right now with all the things that have been going on with people and school and you know just kind of like trying in the rebuilding phase. All right, so people and church and youth leaders are one thing, but that's different than God. So what is your thought or belief or faith in God separate from his people and his community? Um, I definitely believe he's real. And um, I definitely believe he knows what's best for me. I just kind of question his methods a lot. Like, you gave me this person, why are you taking him away? That sort of thing. So some t a little bit of trust right now in the methods, but yeah, almost like when I was trying to <laughs> it's a loving you, push, right? So God it's has a loving, push. loving pushes, and so just like in college when you didn't trust me when I wanted you to do the new mom and ready, and you fought it and fought it and fought it and fought it, it did turn out to be for your good. Yeah. So you're kind of in that process with God right now. And I'm, in the, to I'm in the fighting stage, and hopefully I'll stop soon so I can see what's going on. So maybe working on some trust. Yes. That he does have what's in your best interest at heart. Yes. And even though you're not going to always agree <laughs> with how he does it, you're learning how to deal with that. Yes. Okay. 